Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this diagram here showing quadrilaterals. All quadrilaterals are four-sided polygons. We're going to call them polygons because all polygons have two things in common. They are closed and then they have straight sides. So that's what we're dealing with today are closed straight-sided shapes that have four sides. You notice we've got trapezoids. Let's take care of that first, because really what we're looking at is what goes on that label right there. Trapezoids can sometimes look like this. Two bases and two slanted lines. Sometimes it's got one slanted line, one straight line, and still the two bases. Here's what makes a trapezoid a trapezoid. It only has one set or one pair of parallel lines. I'm just going to kind of use... That abbreviation there, those two L's that are kind of long, that's actually the abbreviation for parallel lines. So only one set of parallel lines, the other two aren't parallel, they intersect because they're slanted. You notice how the trapezoid does not intersect with this other line over here, so these are not trapezoids. Now we see within this shaded oval, we've got three things that we do know about. So let's take a look. We've got our rectangles. So we know what rectangles look like. Sometimes they're kind of long like this. Sometimes they're tall and skinny like this. But either way, what makes a rectangle a rectangle is instead of one, you've got two. Take a look at this. You've got two sets of parallel lines. You've got the sides. Each side is parallel to the other side. And what makes a rectangle a rectangle is you've got these square corners, these four right angles. Four, I'll call them 90 degree angles. So we've got four 90 degree angles. Um, and then we've got a rhombus right here. So a rhombus kind of looks like, sometimes we'll call it a diamond. It's not really a diamond, that's not really a shape, but it kind of looks like this. It also has these parallel lines, right? So we've got two sets of parallel lines. You notice that's important. They don't have any right angles, don't have any 90 degree angles, but we do have equal side lengths. It's got four equal sides. So that's another cool thing about the rhombus is the four equal sides. And look at this square. The square is in between both of them, which means if you put both of these together, you actually get a square. And some of us might not know that a square is actually a rectangle. And a square is also a rhombus. We know what a square looks like. They're all going to be different sizes, but they're all going to have the same things. It's going to have all three of these attributes. It's going to have two sets of parallel lines. And so we've got right there, and we've got the two sides. It's also going to have four 90-degree angles. All square corners here, because it is a square. And then we're also going to have four equal sides. So a square is a rhombus a square is a rectangle so what can i put up on top outside and what's the one thing that all three of these have in common well hopefully you saw me start with this two sets of parallel lines so that's really what we're going to look at right up here is going to be two sets of parallel lines that's what goes outside the rectangle the square and the rhombus so parallelogram what is a parallelogram parallelogram is a quadrilateral so that's good, with two sets of parallel lines. So that's really what that we're looking for. Polygon is that outer, outer circle. It's got the closed and the straight, but trapezoids are also polygons. Pentagon, nope, that's a five-sided shape. If we get stuck, we could say D, but that is incorrect. Our answer here is A, parallelogram. 